So greetings and welcome to this edition of Cooking with Teas with Dr. Michelle. It's all about cooking with teas for calm. And when we, I want you to know and have an experience that you can not just sit and soothe with teas, but there's levels to this tea game. So we're gonna up level your experience so you can have healthier, healthier and happier experiences with tea. So in case you don't know who I am, I am Dr. Michelle. And if any time you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. I, when I'm flowing, honey, and when we're creating things, I might not see them, but I promise, promise, promise that I will get to them at the end. So is it okay if I go ahead and share my screen with you? Let me share my screen. Okay, and voila. So like I said, this is Cooking with Teas to create more calm in your life. So before we get started, I want you to do a few things. Number one, I want you to remove all distractions. I want you to turn your phones off or put them on silent. The thing is, we always have so many notifications going off with social media, emails, text messages, and that can be distracting for what we are going to experience this evening. And next, I want you to go ahead and put the water water on the stove, okay? So we are going to be make, using Release Recharge Tea for two items this evening, two uno dos items. So first we're going to take about nine ounces of water, Whatever you use to heat up your water, I'm putting, I'm using the stove, okay? I'm old school, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire on because when we get to, I want it to get to a boil fairly quickly, okay? Next, who this class is not for. This is not for someone looking to get a quick fix or wave a magic wand like everything you have experienced. All the triggers that have triggered your stress, they are magically going to go away. No, they are not. This is for not for someone who doesn't have an open mind. If you are not ready to try something new, be something new, honey, this class is not for you. This class is not for someone who is content with things being exactly the way that they are right now. If you don't want a transformation in your life, if you don't want to um, reach a new level, this class is not for you. However, this class is for the people that want to do something fun that's going to help them be healthier and happier. This class is for people with an open heart and an open mind that are ready to experience something different. This people, this class is for people who are ready for a change and not just for a change, but you are open enough that you are ready to be a change, to make a change, all right? So what we are going to learn today, we're going to learn about some simple herbs that you can use for relaxation. And honey, it is so simple. You don't have to run off to some um, hole in the wall um, herbal store or, or, or natural store. Sometimes it's difficult for people to find those places. These are things that you may already have in your kitchen. I'm going to show you how to prepare loose leaf teas because a lot of times people say, oh, well, Dr. Michelle, I really want to try your teas, but I don't know what to do. I'm going to show you, okay? And we are going to have a kitchen demonstration. If you feel so inclined, then absolutely, I want you to follow along. I did send you the material list, okay? And we're going to make two things with the tea. The tea specifically we're going to use this evening is Release Recharge, which is the hibiscus blend. So, who exactly is Dr. Michelle? The picture that you see over there on the right is me and my mother. That was like one of my favorite outfits that I ever had. Um, I was three years old at that time. And I don't know if you noticed that my eyes look so bright and clear and shiny. That's before we, I even knew what stress was, honey. Okay, that's before I even knew what stress was. Now, I am the product I am the legacy. See, my water's already heating up, child. I am the legacy of Frank and Edna Black. 
I forgot to bring my book in here, maybe later. And this picture that you see here is them in the Victory Garden. The Victory Garden was a place where um, actually in their yard and they grew their food. And my grandfather, who was also an herbalist, grew a lot of the herbs in the yard that he used to help people. So my grandfather, before uh, my grandparents were married, my, um, my grandfather was courting my grandmother, um, Nanny, Martha Louise Black Jackson. Frank and Edna Black are her parents. And he had wars on his hands. He had been to all these different doctors and the whatnot. And all the medication and oils and things that they gave him would not make the warts go away. So my grandmother said, oh, well, you should um, try my, my, come speak to my dad. So he did. And so my grandfather, Frank Black, before he would help anyone, will always say, do you believe that you can be healed? OK, there is not just a thing, but there's a belief. OK, it's a two way street. It's all about reciprocity for um, balance. And so when my grandfather, Ralph Jackson, said, yes, I do. My grandfather, my great grandfather, Frank Black, took some kind of weed. My grandmother said she didn't know what it was, but he took some kind of weed out of the yard and he boiled it. She said it smelled up the house. And from it, he made like this oil that he would have my grandfather, Papa, my Papa, put on. On his hands and the warts went away and never returned. That's the legacy that I continue in Freeality, okay? Um, I also continue the work of Mr. Hank and Miss Gimme Jones. They were instrumental in my life. You see, what happened when my mother made her transition and went on to glory, then Miss Yimmy stepped right in as a surrogate mother. She told me, in this life, you will have many mothers. And not only did she step in as a mother, but she also stepped in and, to, and continued that education. She continued what was already deposited in me by being a legacy of Frank Black. She taught me how to take plants from the earth that were in the yard. She taught me how to identify with them and to respect them before we use them. She taught me how to blend up things. Now, she wasn't one to take you step by step like what I'm going to do this evening. You had to kind of be around her. You know how elders are. You had to kind of be around her and just watch. Just watch, learn, and listen. I am the continuation of that legacy as well. I also am an international speaker. I am, of course, the chief creator of who? Freeality, which is a premium loose leaf herbal tea company that has special blends to help release stress, recharge health, baby child, some even help reignite romance. There is more and more coming for the pleasure time pretty soon. But Freeality is all about creating a stress-free reality. One cup, and as you're going to see tonight, one dish at a time. I'm also a best-selling author, best-selling author of the book, Conquering the Chaos, The Super Wonder Woman's 12 Strategy for a Stress-Free Life, and my latest release, which I am super, super happy and proud about, Cooking for Freeality, Wellness Teas, Tonics, and Tales for a Stress-Free free reality and what we are doing see check your water check your water my water is already on the boil i'm gonna just leave it like that for a second okay it's already boiling um but what we are going to i'm going to show you today the recipe is in that book but i'm also going to show you something that's not in the book I'm also a media personality. I have been featured on radio, television, podcast, newsprint, and of course, other people's live streams. So welcome to Freeality. I'm going to share the tea with you, and we're going to make something divinely delicious. So once again, what we are going to learn today are some simple um, herbs that you may already have that help with calm and relaxation, how to prepare your loose leaf teas as well. We're going to make two items. So um, first things first, what I want to do is we're going to turn our water off. If your water's already at a boil, I want you to go ahead and turn off your water as well. I'm going to show you.
Okay, so you see it's boiling, right? So I'm gonna use this tea bag because it's gonna be easier for me. This is an empty tea bag. It's going to be easier for me to prepare the tea and clean up by using this. This is one of the tools that we use in order to prepare loose leaf tea, all right? So I've got my bag. This is a huge, huge bag of release recharge tea. And we are going to take two tablespoons, all right? Two tablespoons, because we want it nice and strong, all right? Put it in the tea bag, one and two. And you see that it's open and it has a little tie on it. So we just pull it, wrap it around, and make a little knot. And voila, and then we're gonna put it in here, okay? And so while we are learning about some herbs, it's already turning pink, it's already turning pink. While we are learning about some herbs, then guess what we're, it's gonna do? It's going to steep, okay? So if you are preparing this at home, you can let it steep like 10, 15 minutes, usually um, just for a regular cup of tea, then I let that steep for about five minutes. But because we're doing some other things with tea, I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. And as you can see, it's already, see the water is transforming because the elements can help us transform. All right. All right. This is so exciting. I'm having so much fun. Okay, so rosemary. The first um, one we're going to talk about herb that's really great for relaxation is rosemary. Why is that, Dr. Michelle? Glad you asked because I want to share with you. So the thing about rosemary is that it's considered a nerve tonic, meaning that it helps tone the nervous system. So rosemary has um, elements in it that not only will calm your nerves, but also help relax your muscles. Our muscles often are very tense as a result of um, stress, okay? Rosemary also stimulates the adrenal glands to um, help lift the mood, provides more energy to lift the mood. Have any of you ever heard of adrenal fatigue or adrenal insufficiency? So what that is, is when people who are chronically stressed, so what happens is something happens in the brain whenever you are experiencing stress. The stress can be emotional, the stress can be a physical threat, but anything that your brain registers is a threat to your life or your well-being or your safety. Then something kicks in called the fight or flight response. That's all about the sympathetic nervous system, honey. And what happens is if we perceive everyday events as a constant threat to our wellness, our safety, or maybe even our life, then that stress response, that sympathetic um, nervous system is activated over and over and over, which causes a cascade of events of hormones, which then affect the adrenal glands. The small glands is right here above the kidneys. What about this thing? about this big, okay, which then causes it to produce a hormone called cortisol, which is known as our stress hormone. Now, if this is happening continuously, the adrenal glands get what we call fatigued, all right? And when they're fatigued, then other things can happen where your overall body is fatigued, you're feeling sluggish, maybe you have digestive issues, but Rosemary is one of those things that can actually provide some more energy, therefore helping to lift the mood. Rosemary also increases blood flow to the head and the brain. Honey, did you know, take note of this, the next time that you feel threatened or uncomfortable or stressed or not safe or whatever the case may be that is not appropriate or contributes to your highest level of wellness, notice what you do with your brain. Oftentimes what happens is we perceive a threat and we <laughs> catch our breath. We stop breathing. And when you aren't breathing, you don't have adequate um, oxygen to your brain. Honey, you're not thinking so well. So 
rosemary can help increase the blood flow to our head and our brain. And this helps with memory, okay? When we are experiencing chronic stress, it can affect our memory. Rosemary is also good just to smell it. Great aromatherapy. Even if you don't cook with it, even if you don't consume it, then what happens just by inhale and smell the aroma, we instantly can get a sense of calm, ease, and relaxation, okay? Rosemary is one of those key ingredients in the Release and Recharge Hibiscus Blend. Testimonial. This is from Dr. Donna. This is like her favorite tea. Dr. Michelle's tea radiates calmness before you even take a sip. After enjoying my tea, I find myself feeling peacefully rejuvenated, even if I felt stressed or depleted before my special tea time. Thank you, Dr. Donna. Next, we are going to talk about cinnamon. Who doesn't know about cinnamon? I know y'all have some cinnamon in your kitchen. So cinnamon is fantastic. It has a subtle sweetness that can be enjoyed. And another thing that's fantastic about cinnamon is that it can help with our cognitive functioning. Cognitive functioning is that higher level of thinking where you have to process information, when you have to make long-term decisions, when you have to gather the data and then what am I then going to do with this data, okay? Cinnamon can also help improve your memory and has an aromatherapy effect as well, just like rosemary. An added benefit of cinnamon, even though it has sweetness, guess what? It can help us be not so sweet. What do you mean by that, Dr. Michelle? Glad you asked. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I mean. What I mean by that is studies have shown that cinnamon can actually help with insulin sensitivity, which is something that people with type two diabetes have an issue with. So they're producing enough insulin to break down the body sugar. However, the cells are not sensitive to it, what we call insulin resistant. Cinnamon can help reverse that process. Another testimonial from Von Seal. Opening my boxes is like my birthday, receiving such wonderful teas and recipes. I love having recipe cards. Thanks for sharing your creativity with the world. Thank you, Von Seal. I am blessed to have the opportunity to share. Next, we're going to talk about rose hips. Now, rose hips, you can see those in the, in the wintertime. They look just like that on the rose bush. And that is the precursor to the actual flower blooming. But when you harvest those in the wintertime, guess what? It can actually help us live a healthier and happier life. How so? Now, those are the rose hips dried because rose hips are a great source of vitamin C. How many of you know that vitamin C is key to a strong and healthy immune system, which is on everybody's mind these days? Rose hips are, also have a high level of vitamin A and vitamin E, which also contribute to a strong and healthy immune system. Now, for those of us who are members of the 50 and Phenomenal Club like me, then protecting and, and keeping that youthful um, glow is important. I want the mind of a 50-year-old, but I don't necessarily want the body or the look of a 50-year-old. 50 year old, because in my mind, the 50 year olds that I saw growing up, honey, they didn't look this fly. Okay, I don't know about you, but they didn't look this fly in free reality. Yes, indeed. So, vitamin C also helps prevent the breakdown of collagen. Collagen is what is just under the surface of our skin um, in the tissues to help give us that smooth tight and right. Look, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But rose hips also have fat burning properties. That's good news to me. You want to know why? Because right now I am on a cleanse. All right. And, you know, things get a little different in the midriff once you turn 50. So 
I'm tricking my immune system. I'm telling my body who's boss instead of it telling me who is boss. I'm the boss. Now, what helps those, um, what contributes to the fat burning properties is an antioxidant called telerocide. All right. So it can help with fat burning, especially that stomach fat. And that's what I am focused on. Okay. Summers are coming. Two pieces of rain. Now, let's talk briefly about um, the tools you need for loose leaf teas. Now, you already saw um, the tea bags, the empty tea bags. I get all cotton ones because some of the tea bags that um, are in the boxes and the teas in the stores, they have been bleached. And some studies, see, they don't want to talk about in America. That's why I read studies from abroad have shown that that bleaching process can um, create some cancer causing elements. Who wants to drink that? Not me. So I get 100% cotton unbleached um, tea bags, like what you saw, what is seeping in here right now for our preparation this evening. Now, you also can use this handy diffuser, okay? Isn't that cute? So all you do is you take, what, is you take your tea, scoop it out, place it inside of the diffuser, snap, and once you boil your water in your cup, you just place it in there and allow it to steep. That's another tool. And then they have all of these cute, fancy, and fly diffuser mugs. Here's one that, um, like you see on the picture, that Freality sells. And I really dig this. It is so cute. Isn't this fancy? And it's a nice size, doesn't have a handle on it, so you can put it down in your um, cup holder in your car. For those of you who have bags or small purses, as long as you don't have too much stuff in there that's going to clang against us. But this is... Um, double this is a double pane so that you won't burn yourself and also um, extra protection so to use this this is what you do you take this top lid off okay you will then take your loose leaf tea scoop it out place it in here can you see it has these holes in it that's the mesh, all right? Then once your water has boiled, you pour the water in here, okay? Then you screw this back on and then you make sure it's tight. Then you flip it upside down and that allows your tea to steep without getting the leaves and things into this main part where you're gonna drink out of, all right? Now, once it has steeped, then you unscrew this part, the gold part, and voila, delicioso, okay? So it's important to have tools when you have loose leaf um, teas. So I want to make sure that we went through that and I gave a very quick demonstration. The reason I prefer loose leaf teas over the prepackaged um, ones like they have in the store is because I can control what strength I want. Um, if I don't have Freality with me, which is hardly ever these days, but let's say you catch me slipping sometime and I happen to order some hot tea at a restaurant, baby child, I have to use like four tea bags in order for it to be the strength that I like it. But using Freality and loose sleep, I can control how much I want to do. All right. So let's get to cooking, honey. Let's get to cooking with Freality. I'm going to turn, I'm going to stop share over here. Stop share. Oh, I have to move this. I'm going to stop share over here. And then I'm going to turn this camera off. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay. So as you can see, this is a, a beautiful, this is a beautiful color. And the more I agitate it, the darker it is. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to make a simple syrup. Have any of you ever made a simple syrup before? That's all right. You're going to do it today. Isn't that a beautiful color? Yes, indeed, it is. Now, I'm going to remove this bag, okay, 
And I like to, I'm not even gonna lie, I like to get everything, all the essence out. So I'm gonna squeeze. Okay. Places to the side. Now, in order to make the simple syrup, what I have here is some um, okay. What I have here is some pure cane sugar, simply organic. We're gonna take. Now you can adjust this depending on how sweet you want it. Okay. I don't really want mine that, that sweet. You can do a one-to-one -one ratio. Since we use about a cup and a half, you can use a whole cup of sugar, but that's going to be a little bit sweet. So I'm going to just use three-fourths cup, okay? Just three-fourths cup. This is a half a cup. So we're going to measure. Look, turn your fire back on, but turn it on low, okay? Not low, about medium. Put it on medium. Okay, and then what we're going to do is that's half a cup. Half a half of a cup is one fourth. Place that in there. All right. And then as it's heating up, we're going to constantly stir it, okay? We're going to stir it. What's happening? <laughs> Know how to, yes, we are learning how to make a simple stir. Yes, indeed. Now here's, here's the thing, depending on how thick you want it, depending on how thick you want it will determine how long you allow this to stay on the stove. If you want it thinner, you can turn it off as soon as all of the sugar has dissolved, okay? The reason why I'm stirring this is because I don't want it to stick to the bottom, okay? Just a little bit higher. It's still quite a bit of sugar in there. Can you see that? Yeah. And the edges. But I'm actually going to blend this to. It's still quite a bit of sugar in there. It takes a while for it to dissolve, okay? I'm actually going to bring this to um, not a rolling boil, but just when there's a few bubbles present. The reason why is because the hotter it gets, the thicker it gets. It's the principle of like a reduction sauce. If you've ever made a reduction sauce, and in my book, Cooking for Freeality, I do have a recipe in there for a reduction, okay? But we still have sugar present. We still have sugar present. Okay. Oh, it doesn't release recharge smell divine. It smells so divine because it has rosemary in it, which we talked about. It has the rose hips in it, which we talked about. It has cinnamon in it, which we talked about. And some other things like moringa come through. There's still a little bit of sugar left. So we're going to um, let that set for just a second. Let me stir it again. And you're going to watch how we start having a transformation. Okay? Okay.
Who will you see that? That's what's cooking, baby. That's what's cooking. So I want to show you something while that is happening. So you know my best-selling book, my number one best-selling book, Cooking for Freeality. And so back here, we have the recipe for the Release Recharge Simple Syrup, okay? Now you can use this cane um, syrup or you can use honey. I have used both. I've used, I've used both. Um, I think I prefer the cane sugar over the honey. It really just depends on the consistency you want. Of course, if you use honey, it's going to be thicker. It's going to be thicker. Now, I can make this thicker. Like I said, I'm allowing this to work. Heck it now. Oh, my God, that smells so divine. So divine. <laughs> you know what? I actually might add a little bit more sugar. Because when you've been cooking for a while, then what happens is that you can eyeball some stuff. Okay? <laughs> you can eyeball some stuff. Ooh, that's enough, baby. That's enough. That's enough. This is going to be so delicious. Are you ex as excited about this as I am? I don't know what you want. That third is already a little bit of it as a stump. Let that go for a second. Now, I'm going to tell you this, if we allowed that to boil for about 15 minutes straight, then it would get even thicker. So this is a way, um, and this is in the book as well, when you use the release your immunity here we go. Release your immunity, which has the elderberry in it. You can make a simple syrup with the release your immunity tea. Okay. And a lot of people like to do that in the fall or late summer in preparation for the winter months, cold and flu season, because elderberry is fantastic for the immune system. All right. Um, you can, instead of going to buy it or getting some, the thing called, what's it called, Samazon or something like that at the store, you can make your own. And not only is it in release your immunity, is it just straight elderberry, but there's ginger in there. There's holy basil, which is a herb in the class called an adaptogen. And adaptogen is something that um, helps protect the body from the adverse effects of stress. So if you just go to the store and buy some honey, you're not gonna have all those all those goodies in there. But when you do it yourself, using realities, release your immunity. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is nice. Can you tell it's already thicker? I mean, it's still, I mean, it's not like you're going to put this on your pancakes, but you could continue to allow it to boil and it would do that, all right? So meanwhile, while I'm still letting that go, I want to show you something. So one of the things that we are going to do with this simple syrup is, go right on spill it. Isn't that beautiful? Whoa, see, my creation is going all over. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just show you from here. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? 
This is what's called a full spectrum salad. A full spectrum release, stress release salad. Why is it called that? It's called that because full spectrum is about having the full spectrum of all the colors in the rainbow, the primary colors. Our primary colors are what? Yellow, red, and blue. So green, blue and yellow make green. We have our red, and this actually is a, a raspberry orange. I found these, never heard of them for the first time. I'm in love with them. So orange is what? Red and yellow. So just with this, we have what's known as a full spectrum meal or plate. And that is also in Cooking for Reality. All right, let's go back over here to the pot. See what's happening. See those bubbles when it's bubbling like that? Oh, that's nice. Mm. Mm. Now, we're going to make a salad dressing for our full spectrum meal and a uh, plate. And the other thing we're going to do, a nice cocktail. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay? And I'm going to get this. And I have to put it in the Let's chill. Hey, let's settle down. That's what I want to do. Just me and you. Let's chill. Ooh, all right. But it's going to take a minute for this to chill. Oh, that is nice, though. This is nice. Oh, Even when I stir it, I can just feel that. How it's thicker than just, you know, regular. I'm going to turn this off. And actually what I'm going to do is take a little bit because this is going to take a minute for it to cool. All right. I'm going to take a little bit and put it in here for us to use. I'm going to keep it here. Now, whenever you make a simple syrup, let me tell you this, or using herbs in general, then a lot of times what you want to do is store your things in a nice mason jar, okay? And the reason I say that glass is better than plastic, and you have airtight. You have the lid, put that on. You can even put these in the freezer, okay? So we have this here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make, first, we're going to make our salad dressing. And things all over the place, big child. And I'll show you later because I turned the heat off of that, okay? But this is a flat top, so it's still being heated, all right? We'll come back to that later and see how thick it got, all right? Actually, I might turn it back on for a little bit. I want it just a tad bit thicker. All right, so let's move on to this. Uh-oh, I did not close the Okay. So, and to make our salad, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use olive oil. I got this straight from Italy, okay? In Florence. Um, so we're going to put You're going to ask me how much. Maybe as much as you want to. It doesn't take much. Just a little bit. How thick is this? Okay. Just a little bit. Or as much as you want. You can do whatever you like. And then I'm going to add some garlic. Now, I have a nice garlic press here. This is a kitchen tool essential. Okay. Because when you use a garlic press, then you get some of the juice from the garlic out. Okay. That's a lot of garlic, baby child. Actually, I might add a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper. I love this doodad right here. That's where I got this. The Dollar Tree, that's no longer a dollar. The Dollar Tree, that's a dollar twenty-five because it has a built-in grinder, so therefore you get a, a stronger pepper flavor. Okay, 
Now, here's the thing. You can season this up however way you want to. You can do whatever you like. I might add a little Tony Satries to this too. Little cayenne. You know, if you want a little heat, a little hit on here. That's some sea salt. Not too much, baby child. Not too much. That's nice. That is nice. Then let me get another spoon. I don't want to put the garlic in with my other thing. Then we're stirring this up. And then we're going to add our olive oil according to your taste with the consistency. That's good for me. Then we're going to stir it. I actually think I want a little Tony stuff. Mm -hmm. Can't go without this. I love the herb ones. That's good. Now, my spiritual parents taught me my spiritual parents taught me when you're tasting things, you know, you can just put it on the back of your hand. So therefore you don't put your lips on the spoon. Okay. We're going to see how it is. Oh, let me tell you why I like this. I like this because I love some nice blend of a sweet and salty and this hits it. This hits it. When I put that Tony Satries on it, that did the trick right there, baby child. So then what we do is we take our full spectrum mm, with the garlic and everything. Trickle it on. Mm, mm, mm. Who's going to eat good tonight? Me. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. That's dish number one. Okay, that's dish number one. Now for number two. Let me see how much. That's still a little bit. Um, that's still a little bit warm. Uh, but that's all right. I just got a little one just because I want to show you. But since I'm cleansing, I am not allowed to drink this. Okay, just water, tea, and smoothies for me. Okay, but I got a nice rose prosecco. Can I just tell you that I have made sangrias with the release recharge tea? I'm looking for free reality book, honey. That's nice. All right, so I'll just show you. I finished my cleanse on Sunday. I'm going to have a celebration, so I'll do it then. I'll have my drink then. If I can get this off. <laughs> Which I can't. Why I can't get this open? I don't know. Okay, whatever. We keep moving. I cannot get this off. So, but just know that you can take some of that simple syrup and mix it with your Prosecco, all right? Whatever kind of Prosecco you want. Um, and it's delightful. It's absolutely delightful. I really want to make this so that I can show y'all. I can share this with y'all. Because you might not believe me that you can really do all these things with the tea. Ooh. Oh, here we go. The little engine that could said, I think I can, I think I can. So what we would do is this. We would take some of, let's move this over. Okay. We would take some of our simple syrup. I 
however much you want. I think that's it. And then we just add our Prosecco. Now see, you can do this with vodka or gin too. Aren't the bubbles pretty? I'm gonna just taste, I'm not gonna drink it though, because I'm cleansing. I'm going to be dedicated and committed. So as you can see, we created two things, two items, two dishes with one tea. Who knew that you could use tea to make salad dressings and delightful divine beverages? Who knew? I knew, and that's why I wanted you to know too and share it with you, okay? So, is it okay if I share even more with you? My thing here. We're gonna go back to the screen, to the share the screen, and share. So, I want to welcome you to culinary artistry and what culinary artistry is all about is cooking with teas and so the benefits of the culinary artistry program is that you get to experience new a new tea monthly you are like the top tier the VIPs of the Freeality family. Why is that? Because you get to experience some blends that may never get released to the public or be the first to know. You also experience recipes every month. Now, yes, you may already have the Cooking for Freeality book, but the Culinary Artistry Program, membership rather, because membership has its privileges. The Culinary Artistry membership, it has recipes that are not in the book. And you don't just get them electronically. You get a nice, beautiful, hard copy. Um, that's all right. You learn the other benefits of the culinary artistry program is that you learn healthier options. Who says healthy food has to be boring? Not me, honey. There is nothing about me that is boring. You get recipes for your files that will impress your friends and you become a part of the cooking culinary community. Why is that? Because every month you get a special reality blend, you get your two printed recipe cards, the herbal ingredients that you need to create your recipe come in pre-measured amounts and you get to experience this once a month with me in the community where we get together and cook together. Your box ships out to you every month in this beautiful reality box with everything you need, free shipping. To include the bonuses of 20% off of all products in the Freeality store because as a member, membership has its privileges of the Culinary Artistry Program, you get a special code and you get 40% discount on my live events. Look, Rona isn't gone, but we are taking some more precautions and we are moving around a little bit safer. So now it's time for us to get together face-to-face, heart-to-heart, eye-to-eye. You also, as a bonus, get the free life kitchen essentials checklist. Remember I said this little dude that here, the garlic press, this is on the list on the checklist as a kitchen essential, as well as some other items. So you get all of that with a value of $197. But when you go to cookingwithteas.com, you can receive all of that for just $49 a month. Oh, and there's another bonus. You want to share this with family or friends, then once a quarter, 
we have an open session. It's the family and friends session where you can invite them to cook along with you. But other than that, baby, membership has its privileges. Aren't you ready to say yes? I know you know somebody that's ready to say yes. So come on over with me. We toast and cheers, calm and cook on a monthly basis in the culinary artistry program. And you can go to cookingwithteas.com. Yay and yay. I'm going to stop share, make sure there are any questions. What does it say? Um, Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here um, with me. And as you can see, all of the, that's just two of the ways that we can cook with tea. All right. Amen and amen. So like they say, if all hearts and minds are clear, then I will leave you to enjoy your culinary creation. And I want you to be well. I want you to do something well for yourself and have a beautiful and stress-free evening. Go on over to Cooking with Teas at um, www.cookingwithteas.com to enroll now. Dr. Michelle, good night.